Oh, so this is what we're gonna do today. This is Hirsch, not to be mistaken with a H Hirsch, the most, it's hard to get sought after, unbelievable bottle of bourbon. And I got to try it. Stop. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Best description I can say of it, I describe it as a church moment because when you tasted it, you went, started talking like you're in church. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh. It's like if you talk loud, you would ruin it. But it was glorious. Oh. However, the Hirsch, when it started hitting the shelves, flying in on that name. So anyway, today's review is going to be over Hirsch, the Horizon. Right. I am Jonathan J.O. Owen. And I'm Kitty Kennedy. And we are the what? Suburban Know-It-Alls, a.k.a. Buckeyes. Yes. And you too can become a bourbon know-it-all because when you drink, you know things. Absolutely. And we love people who spout knowledge about anything bourbon. Yeah. We like to talk bourbon. We like to drink bourbon. Right. We like to know even more. You yeah. never know and we like enough to share. about your hobby. Right. So if you like this sort of thing, follow us on all of our social, uh, media. social media platforms and like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. That hit so hard, I got off bleed. Thank you for doing that, folks. I just like the color of the label. <laughs> Here I am being wacky and crazy, but okay. So, Kitty, um, you picked this up. I did. Thank you so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. And this is um, 3020, their right. first yeah, the batch. It is 46%, 92 proof. It is two bill. different mash bills. Mm -hmm. It's a 94% five year, four months with 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. The next ratio is 6% at six years and two months. Oh. But then it rolls in at 6%, 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted mm -hmm. barley. Why? Because two batches. it's Hirsch, the horizon, mm -hmm. Hirsch. Kind of like um, 007 Hirsch, but not A. H. Hirsch. <laughs> no, this is I Jay, think his his orphaned cousin who was raised by the hillbillies. Really, I was <laughs> I just um, I, 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 I really liked I really liked that um, it, the, you know the story. Obviously, Hirsch. There's some the you know, long, long, long removed connection, and I thought, well, what the heck? Let's try. I've never, I've never had I've never had it. Never even thought about it. So let me take care of that. All right, you're gonna so, cork it because I seem to have technical difficulties every time I try to open a bottle. Okay, so also real quick, this is uh, made in Lawrenceburg and bottled where? No, it's bottled in Lawrenceburg. MGP, right? No, no. distilled in Lawrenceburg, bottled in Hirsch by Hirsch in Bardstown, oh, Kentucky. Bardstown. Okay. And in three, two, two one. What? Oh, a good sound. That was good. Good sound. It has no correlation to what's in the bottle of deliciousness, but it was a good sound. I've never seen this before on a rubber cork. There's actually a ring around this rubber cork, like it was sitting on its head for a while. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. I'm sorry. Know it all. So we'd like to mm -hmm. find things like that. Right. And a combination of wood and what looks to be a composite. That's not um, wood cork. Maybe you need one. Mm. It smells good. Okay. Oddly, I, it, has I a, it, has a, it has a craft beer smell. <laughs> Seriously. Are you sure about that, Kitty? Uh huh. Oh my God, she is. Yes. It's yes. that mash smell that when you get into a, uh, you know, somebody who like specializes in barrel aging. Oh my goodness. Holy it's, cow. It's very grainy. Elements of chocolate. Ele yeah, it's. But, but I it, like it. It's, like it. it smells, it doesn't smell like your cheap distillery where you walk in and you just go, ew, what's, what's wrong? And so you go in there, it's one of those distillers, you walk in and you go, mmm, that smells good. It's like they're roasting their mash. There it is, that's the smell. It's the cooking. The cooking. Remember we were at uh, MGP and we got really, you know, we got a really great tour there and, you know, the um, vats were just cooking. And like when we walked into that room and it's that, what, was that, that the trip where I nearly fell in because I stuck my head in there and took so too big far. of a sniff? <laughs> I'm like, they're going mean, to they're gonna have to cook it a little longer. J.O. was in there. <laughs> <laughs> the J.O. match. Okay, Not this is FDA nice. Yeah, this is I nice. like the nuts, but this isn't the taste, so let's no. dive in on All it. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's, that is Indiana all over. 
Okay. That's dill pickle. Dill. Ooh, kind of a raw finish on, I hate to say this, vinegary. And it kind of has like a sour beer finish. Hang on a second. I am Boy, going I to go on a limb here. I am catching some other, some other attributes. I'm not saying I'm loving on it. I'm saying I, my palate is like moving all over the place. It's, it's yeah. weird how whatever flavors are like spread out and I'm catching them in different areas of my mouth. Normally it's pretty straightforward. I smell it, you drink it, and it, is, it starts developing. This is one of them to where you taste it and you kind of have to revisit it multiple times. Yes. Because it is just, it's very deep. And I feel like my first sip was just like, ugh, no. Okay. I'm getting cherries and, and dark fruit now. That sweetness from the from the mash bill, you know, from the corn. There's a lot of corn here. Was it seventy? Was it was it seventy some percent? I, I'm getting the sweetness, like the cereal yeah. and the and the and the sweet cereal with the milk. You know, like the milk of the sweet cereal. That that cereal, sweet cereal milks now. You notice I'm being awfully quiet right now. It's mostly because I'm thinking. A jailism is going to come soon. So it is. It. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm it's. This is going to be unique. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of want to see this open up a little. I agree. I think it'll be much more complex. Right now, I'm not fully sold on it. It's a little green. Yeah. Like a little green wood, like a, a birch popple. To me, it just has a lot of, like, overpowerful dill. Almost like, you know, one of those really sour dill pickles. Mm. And... Not exactly what I'm looking for in my bourbon, but okay. But okay, so let me go in, and we're gonna try Joism here. I'm gonna hit it with some water while he's doing that. Chocolate, pistachio, green, oak, chocolate, dill. Dill pickle, vinegar, mellow char, vanilla, bright citrus, mm -hmm. becoming like a uh, citrus grove in sunshine, and that's it. All right, so I added a little water while Jail was um, concentrating. And I um, will say that if you put a little water in there, dill jumps out of the glass like crazy. I think so. that, that's yeah. that's true. So I would not add any water or yeah. ice cubes. I um, I was afraid of something like that. Yeah, it would yeah. really really. It's already very very dill heavy mm -hmm. for me. I mean, and I didn't get it as as strong, but your palate is probably a little more in tune with that. I love dill pickles, so dill, dill pickle, dill pickles, so it wouldn't be anything. And I love that particular herb. Uh, I'm, see, I'm for guess, me, it's, it, it went to very um, uninspired. Yeah, the water tamed it a yeah. bit, but way too much. Mm -hmm. And so definitely, you don't, you know, the blends of this, guys, no. drink it straight. Um, and at a 92 proof, it's... It, it, it's it, almost it, perfect for me, but mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be very honest. I don't think I would ever, ever buy a bottle of this. Maybe if it gets older. I know MGP is like the big lovely sacred cow of all bourbon dreams but they are flat running out of the older products mm -hmm. and now we're getting down to the blending and so we are going to get some good blends and we are going to get some bad blends and we're going to get mediocre blends this to me is just kind of mediocre it's no a h hirsch that's for sure that's for sure it didn't make me yeah. start talking in a reverent tone it oh. did get a joism out of me but okay. yeah. it's a very late and slow uh, finish too. I'm not yeah. my, you know, I'm getting a little bit of warmth. Maybe that that rye mash bill finally showed up, but it, it's uninspired. So yeah, if we catch anything, if you like it, no right. skin of our nose, mm -hmm. because you know what you like. Right, and you know what is our thing is like, would I buy it? Too late. I already bought it. One, two. I probably will drink it, but I'll drink it in a very specific circumstance, maybe with a um, dill garnish. <laughs> drink it with salad, kitty. Exactly. But uh, it's not unfortunate, but it's not exceptional. So yeah. that's kind of where I am. Overall re review for both Kitty and I? Meh. 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 So that's two myths. Meh. Out of one. Right. So this has been this review of the Bourbon Know-It-All 
aka the Bukayas. Bukayas. Hey, so did we already say the like, subscribe, and uh, Why not say it again? I think that that's good. Pass it along to your friends as well. And you know what? I'm going to give a huge shout out to longtime follower and fan of ours, Big Daddy's Bear Cave. Mm. Love that Lakeland, guy. Lakeland, Florida. Rock Cheers. going, buddy. Cheers. Cheers to you, Kitty. Cheers. Cheers to you, guys.